So for the stray expression, I'm going to be using this secondary noise that I added right here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and turn off that preserve length because I want these to act as flyaways. I'm going to set that frequency to be lower. So let's set that to 0 0.03. Um, I guess at a certain point it stops kind of having effects. So I guess probably 0 .0, 0 0.1. 0 0.1 is probably the um, lowest it can go. And let's just set this maybe not quite that intense. Okay. Um, so what the stray does is it's going to only affect certain percentage of our hairs. So we could have, uh, you know, return a randomized value, right? So each hair has a slightly different value to it. But we can also set a condition that if something is like a certain percentage of our uh, percentage of our hairs are going to have an effect, a certain percentage of our hairs are not going to have an effect. And that's the stray um, philosophy. So. Um, I'm going to show you two different ways. XGen has a built-in stray function. So we can come up here to descriptions, set stray percentage, come down here, and we can set a value from 0 to 100. And that's going to flag a percentage of our hairs as strays. It's not going to do anything by itself. It's just going to each hair that um, is affected by this is going to have essentially a flag on it that says if it's a stray or not a stray. So I'm just going to start with 10%. And now, if I come into this noise modifier, I'm going to go ahead and open this mask. We're going to use that if else statement that we just looked at. Again, that can be found right here, that conditional operator, if x, then y, else z. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to call the stray function. So stray, and then open close parentheses. That's just returning. It's essentially a function that checks each hair. And if it's a stray, it returns true. If it's not a stray, it returns false. Set a question mark so that everything before the question mark is the condition check. And I'm going to say, if it is if it is a stray, if it's true, then I'm going to make this uh, modifier's mask 1, which means it's on. And if it's false, then this modifier's mask is going to be 0, or it's going to be off. And click Apply. Click Accept. So I'll turn this off so you can see that. And so now you can see that 10% of my hairs are getting this extra little kind of wiggle to them. And then uh, the rest of them aren't being affected by this modifier. So it's 10% of my hairs. And if I come in here and set my stray percentage higher, so if I set that to 40%, you can see now 40% of my hairs are labeled as strays, um, which means that this noise is having an effect. And so the cool thing about stray is those hairs that are labeled as noise, let's set that back to 10%. And I'm going to go ahead and add a coil modifier. So I'll come back in here, click coil. Um, and if I wanted, the cool thing about stray is all those hairs that are labeled as stray are going to be labeled as stray no matter where I go. So those I can call upon those exact same hairs everywhere I go because they're all labeled as stray, quote unquote. So uh, if I come in here and I wanted to add a coil to those strays as well, those same exact hairs, then I can come in here and do that same thing. Stray, open close parentheses, question mark. 1.0 colon 0, 0.0 click apply click accept so that coil is only affecting those hairs that are um, also labeled stray that are also being affected by the noise so that's cool but sometimes uh, with different effects I want a certain different percentage of hairs to be affected or I want different hairs to be affected by this um, new modifier or expression I'm writing so in order to do that I'm going to show you guys a different uh, way of writing an expression. I'm just going to duplicate this one. So this is going to be a setting a custom stray percentage. And let me go ahead and show you guys what that code is going to look like really quickly. Here we go. So you can see we have that if else statement. Um, this was the stray function that we just looked at, right? So if we're using Xgen's built in stray, we call this function. And if it's true, we get turn on and off. Um, down here, though, we're going to set our own uh, custom stray so that we can grab a unique set of a unique percentage of hairs and do an operation on them. Um, so again, the downside kind of, uh, upside downside of the stray function is that it's gonna grab the exact same hairs every single time and we can't change that percentage. So I can't, I can have something affect 10% of the hairs, but I can't, then can't have something else affect 20% of the hairs and still use stray, right? So this is going to let us have different strays that we can set. So certain hairs are 10% uh, of hairs are set as stray for this function, and then a different 20% of hairs are set as strays for this other function. So in order to do that, what we're going to be doing is I've just set a variable here called rand v, and all it's doing is it's taking a value or give, returning a value from 0 to 100. Okay. So this is kind of the basis of what, how this works, is that um, theoretically this rand function should have an equal chance of returning any of these values between 0 to 100, right? Um, if I have, you know, a million hairs, 
a certain percentage of them should be one, a certain percentage of them should be two, a certain percentage of them should be three, and all of those numbers should have the same percentage of hairs that return that number, right? If this is truly random. So knowing that, that means that if I'm if each hair is returning a rand value of zero to 100, then the percentage of hairs that should return the value between one and 10 should be 10% of the hairs, right? 10% of the hairs are returning a value between, well, I guess in this case, zero to 10, right? Um, so what's cool about that is now I have, I can grab a certain percentage of my hairs, right? So if I set a straight percent, this is just another variable set, 10%, then um, I can check whatever this hair returns. And if it is less than or equal to 10, then 10% of the hairs should be true, should be true, right? 10% of the hairs should be less than or equal to 10. And then 90% of the hairs are gonna be not e less than or equal to 10. So this is essentially the basics of what we're doing here. I'm just gonna go ahead and copy paste this actually. Um, this is just, you know, we're just take, returning a ra random value from zero to 100. Um, we're setting a barrier and then we're just checking uh, that against that barrier and returning true or false, depending on if it's less than or equal to. And it's doing essentially the same thing as that stray function but just that, that's what it, we're about to set right here does not carry outside of the modifier like the stray does. So I come in here and I can go ahead, I'm gonna paste that in. So my rand v is equal to rand, val, or rand function between zero to 100. I set just a, func a variable called stray percent, set it equal to 10 for now. And uh, if I wanted to change that, I can go ahead and you know add a comment, a, a comment and I'm gonna say zero comma 100 and then I'm just doing a condition check. If my um, rand v, that value for each hair, that randomized value for each hair is less than or equal to whatever percent, stray percent I set, then it does this of modifier, else it doesn't do this modifier. I click apply, accept. Okay, and so now if I come in here and we're gonna come to that mask, you can see it says mask, ignore that. But as I increase that, you know, more and more of my hairs are now being affected, right? So I'm setting a higher percentage of my hairs that are being affected by this modifier and then a fewer, 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 right? So now this is down to three, and so only 3% of my hairs are setting it. So what's nice about this is I can have this noise, let's say this noise modifier is using stray, and stray is using 10%, right? And this one, but this noise I went to affect, let's say 30% of my hairs, right? Now I have two different stray percentages I can set. And I can do that any number of times. I can just write that function out again um, I, for another one. So if I can just add another noise uh, duplicate and then I can just copy paste that function. And this is actually returning different values, right? So it's not gonna be affecting the same. Let's go down here and turn this off and turn that one on, right? It can, it might be affecting the same hairs. I actually don't know, but uh, wow, I encountered something I should have checked beforehand, uh, but uh, can't remember if this is actually going to be returning. Oh, you know what? It might not be returning, or it might be returning the same values because I set the seed value to zero. So I could give this random uh, different seed value, which means each hair is going to get a completely different value, randomized value for this one. So if I click accept, now that should be affecting a different percentage of hairs. So these are, even though these are using the same exact function, because I changed that seed value, um, they're affecting actually different hairs. So I can always just change and add a new seed value and then each hair is gonna get, uh, it's gonna have each expression that I do that in or modifier or wherever I put that in um, is going to have a slightly different stray expression. So that's pretty much it. Um, I just wanna cover that stray and the C length um, stuff and showing you guys that if else statement. So just recap the C length, uh, I can grab C length or I can grab any other of those existing variables for XGen and can I use those as like a condition check or um, adding in to something. So I, in this case, what I did down here for the clumping was I took the length of the hair and I just compared it to uh, the, the, a certain value and then I turned the clumping on and off. I also showed how to use the fit function, right? Which is just gonna remap uh, our value between from one range to another range to get a more, uh, kind of like a gradient fall off instead of having a zero or one fall off that I got with just doing a if else statement. Um, then we looked at the stray percentage. So we came in here to the stray percentage, which is a built-in um, flag for our hairs. And so we define a percentage of our hairs that we wanna be affected. Um, and so that all those hairs, no matter where I am in any of these tabs or any of these expressions or modifiers, those same hairs are flagged as stray. Uh, and then I showed you guys just now how to write our own randomized um, percentage of hairs 
um, that we can uh, call. So we can have a variety of different stray percentages. We don't have to rely on the exact same hairs being stray. And we can also set a different percentage of our hairs to be strays for that, um, for the purposes of different modifiers. Um, so that's it for the modifiers. Uh, I'm going to be moving on next to looking at guides.